So in a bowl, I have two cups of flour, one packet of the active dry yeast, which roughly is like, I use the jar, so roughly it's like two and one fourth teaspoon of the yeast. Uh, and I put one teaspoon of sugar. I'm just going to mix this well. Traditionally, I know you're supposed to let the yeast bloom and some water and some sugar and let it activate, but what I'm researching online this is one of the methods, so we're just gonna try it and see how it goes. And I have half a cup of warm water, not hot, just warm. I'm gonna add that in and mix it just for about a minute so everything is incorporated. I added three tablespoons of oil and half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm just going to first mix it with my hand and then Take it out on a floured surface and knead for five minutes. So just gonna bring this together and start kneading it for five minutes. Get all the little pieces. So I have a bowl that I just oiled and then I have my dough. I'm just going to plop it in there, cover it, and let it rise for about 45 minutes to an hour. So this is how our dough turned out. I'm just going to continue keeping it covered and I'm going to start working on the filling. So in a pot on medium heat, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil, olive oil. And then to that, I'm going to add half a tablespoon of ginger puree. Actually, let me do a little bit more. Maybe like two-thirds of a tablespoon. A little garlic. And we are also going to add one and a half cups of diced onions. Now, while that's frying up, I have my spices. I have a tablespoon of paprika. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of orpha pepper, um, but if you have Aleppo pepper, you can use that or just leave it out, it's totally optional. I have half a teaspoon of allspice, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of cloves, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, uh, half a teaspoon of fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi, and then half a teaspoon of ginger. For these seven spices, if you have the Lebanese seven spice pack, then you can just use a tablespoon of that, but I didn't, so I just kind of made my own seven spice. So I'm just gonna mix these, let them become translucent. So now once the onions are slightly translucent, we're going to add all of our spices in, and then mix it well and cook it for a couple minutes as well. I'm going to just add a little bit more oil just so the spices don't stick to the bottom. Maybe like about a tablespoon. And then cook these with the onions. Making sure nothing sticks to the bottom and the spices and the onions are incorporated thoroughly. That looks great. And then I have a pound of ground beef. If you have lamb, you can use that. But I don't. So I'm just going to use ground beef. <coughs> that I've drained and then mix this well now to this once it's mixed well I'm going to add tomatoes I'm just going to use a can of tomatoes because I don't have any fresh tomatoes on hand if you had fresh tomatoes dice them up really well and use about two but I'm just going to use one can with the juices drained I'm going to mix that well I'm also going to add one um, cilantro bunch to the mix. You can do half cilantro, half parsley. I happen to have cilantro on hand, so I'm just gonna mix this all until it's incorporated, and I kind of diced it or minced it pretty finely, the, the cilantro. So we're gonna lower the heat and simmer this for about 15 minutes. So now it's been about two hours for the dough and it rose quite a bit. <clears throat> so
So we're just going to knead it for about one minute just to work this again. So now I'm just going to divide the dough into, let's say roughly 12 pieces. So I just rolled it out into a circle. You, these are gonna be like mini pies. You wanna keep it pretty thin. And just, I'm gonna roll out the rest and put them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. So I have all my dough rolled out. I'm just going to cover it and toast my pine nuts. I have them all rolled out into circles, the same, roughly the same shape or size. I took out my filling and I'm letting it cool. I also seasoned it with two teaspoons of salt, but definitely adjust the salt preferences to your taste. Start off with one and then see how it goes. And I'm just gonna toast my pine nuts. So I have my pine nuts here. I have half a cup of pine nuts and I'm just going to dry roast them on medium heat. You wanna be careful not to burn them, so you want to stir frequently. So they're starting to toast and I think I'm gonna pull them off the heat now. I don't want to overdo them. And they're brown and golden and delicious. So I'm gonna do a test run first with three pieces of the dough just to vary and see how many minutes to bake it on. We're gonna start off with 10 and then see how it goes, but check on it periodically. I also don't know whether to garnish this after or before. So with two of them or one of them, we're gonna test it with them garnished before and then afterwards, let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to take some of the filling and go all the way to the edge and really just press it down so the meat adheres to the dough. I'm gonna do this for all of them. So I added a thin layer of the meat mixture on each of the little sfijas. I'm only topping one of them with the garnish for right now because I don't know if they'll burn in the oven. But I have the oven preheated at 400 degrees. I'm going to bake them for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to start off with 10 and then see how it goes. So I'm starting to work on the second batch in another baking tray, but I just took these out of the oven. How yummy do they look? And the pine nuts didn't burn, so I'm just gonna add the toasted pine nuts to all of them before baking, and this is from 10 minutes in the oven. So they look so beautiful. So for these last three, I did something a little bit different. I added some feta on top, and then what I also like to do is kind of press the pine nuts into the meat mixture so they're not just falling off when you pick it up and eat it. And I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. How beautiful are they? They're so cute. Um, we already taste tested them and they're delicious. And I hope you guys can try out this recipe and try it out for yourselves because it's so good. <laughs>